just in the mid range. And of course, a little bit of. Hello, different and uh, exciting topic for today. We are going to use the push, the push two by Ableton to control SSL plugin. This time we're gonna use a plugin by Plugin Alliance, the SSL 4000E. We're going to assign macros from Ableton to control the mixer. So it's gonna feel a little bit like we are using a real console. I find it really handy. I did it yesterday and was marvelous and I would be happy to walk you through how I did that. Push already has a uh, built-in ability to work with Plugin Alliance and many different plugins, but because they are not always organized in a way that makes sense for us or for me, then I made my own macros and Ableton 11 allows you to create 16 macros, which is great. Then you can have like eight macros just controlling the EQ section and another eight to control compressors, filters uh, and everything. So I'm gonna walk you through um, how, I, how I got this to work for myself. And uh, yeah, let's just do it. Let's open a plugin. I have here the, the console. The first thing I'm going to do with this plugin in order to create the macro setup is to press Control G, Command G. And now when it's in, it's in the group, I can uh, see the macros and then I can increase the macros count. So I have 16 of them. Okay, now I need to assign. It's very simple. The way it goes, it's a sequence. Okay, so we're gonna go from left from right. We're gonna start with a section of the, the filters and compressors, which is exactly eight keys. And then we're gonna do the EQs, which is a little bit more than eight, it's like 10 keys, but we're going to map only the frequency and volume parameters. Let's start. First of all, map, I press on map, I touch the key I want to map, and then I press on map. I touch the key I want to map, and then I press on map. I touch the key, compress, and then you can see I touch and map. I touch and map. I touch, I touch and map. And here we go. We have all the first section going. Continuing to the next one, starting from the base, I touch and map. Touch the DB volume and map. Touch and map touch and map okay great now that they are basically controlled I can head over uh, to the push and uh, let's just see it in action okay so here we are we have the SSL open and we have the push and as you can see each button is controlling the macros and it even says on the push what it's controlling and you can change the name so you can say this is high pass low pass frequency the ALC is a little bit confusing me so I press right click and I rename it to compressor threshold for example same I go to the ratio, ratio here I can just change this to comp ratio comp release okay very simple and then in this section here you can move between the mappings so here I can move between the eight mappings so now I'm controlling the EQ so if you look at the at the SSL plugin when I move this I actually controlling the EQ section now you might say hey but you didn't map the bell macro and it's true I didn't do that uh, because there is lack of space of buttons and I decided that it's enough for me to get the basic sound going using the macros which are the volume and the frequency and then I can adjust later the bell it's kind of a small adjustment and it's already taking me a long way so let's put it in action I'm going to reset the macros so I'm pressing with command and I'm, I'm kind of putting everything in the middle and then once it's initialized you can go into the main main screen and save it call it give it a name here SSLE and I got it ready to go 
uh, let's let's put it into the test I have a bass I'm going to turn off the standard channel strip okay turning it on and then I can start doing the sound that I want let's listen to the once you start we're doing the bass so let's start by adding some 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 high frequencies just in the mid range and of course a little bit of Let's go to the compressor section. I press the first page. Cleaning a little bit of the high frequencies. Lowering the filter. A little bit of compression. Release. And the gate, I don't have to touch it. And now I'm gonna adjust a little bit the bells. These are the two parameters that we couldn't just be, we can't adjust with the macros. And let's AB before, after, before, before, after. Okay, let's listen to it in the context. Soon the light, once you start following cold, tension frees you. That was really cool. We learned how to map and use our console with the push. It's much quicker, I find. For me, this is my workflow and uh, I am happy to share with you this knowledge. Uh, if you enjoy the content, you're welcome to put a like and subscribe to the channel. I'm Tom Alon, thank you very much for tuning in and I wish you to continue and enjoy your musical creation. Cheers!